This is another report about life in the time of the coronavirus epidemic. Use of the vaccine, or one of them, was approved by the FDA, and that comes at a time when the COVID-19 virus numbers are skyrocketing, with ICU beds and deaths as well. It's like a race to the finish between the virus and the vaccines. Judges have now tossed out over 50 of the Trumpet's lawsuits. One called the suit he rejected un-American. And the Trumpet lost a biggie in a state Supreme Court. He called that ruling disgraceful and un-American. So there seems to be an agreement that things are getting quite un-American around here. And I agree with that, too. It does not feel the same to me. This is not the good old USA. The land of the free and the home of the brave? Not exactly. It's more like fear and loathing have finally come to roost. Distribution by FedEx of Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccine has begun. They say it will be on, used on health care workers tomorrow, the ones that want it that is. Like a drumbeat, constantly I hear, get the protection you deserve. Get the money you deserve. Get the coverage you deserve. Get the respect you deserve. I was watching a football game and the commentator, a former player, said, you don't get what you deserve in the NFL. You get what you earn. And I think life is like that except that often you don't even get what you earned. So you have to overcome that too. Life is harsh, and there is no bargain you can make with it. It's like the virus. As for getting what we deserve, we got the pander man. Today the first vaccine arrives. The field mouse was nearly giddy and also fully in charge of what goes where and when. He also sternly warned that it's not over. We cannot let our guard down, he said. He's crazy. We lost that battle months ago. People think the vaccines will save us. They're calling it the light at the end of the tunnel. The governor of a neighboring state cried as he announced that the vaccine had arrived. Today is also the official vote of the Electrical College, establishing the Pander Man as the next president. The trumpet will continue to resist, claiming that he has legal options and possible action in Congress. He looks like someone continuing a chess game after checkmate has been declared. COVID-19 is rampaging and healthcare workers are in high demand, especially respiration technicians and nurses with ICU experience. And that brings us to traveling nurses. There are always some who go where they are needed or maybe just go where they want to go, sign a contract, stay for a period of time, then move on. Now they are making money by doing this. A nurse might earn $800 a week. Cities in the Dakotas are offering $10,000 a week with benefits and a signing bonus. Sounds like free agency in sports. Over the internet, I heard Jack Parr tell this joke. And even though you've never heard of Jack Parr, listen to the joke. I have no political affiliation. I'm like the little old lady from Maine who says, I don't ever vote. It only encourages them. Lovely little joke. The Electoral College did vote, and the Pander Man is now officially the president-elect. He said, as the shadow of Donald Trump passes away, change will come to America. I hear that, and it makes me think, don't you threaten me. 
For his part, the trumpet will refuse to concede, even though he no longer has a leg to stand on. He says he will continue to seek legal remedies to what he calls a stolen election. Meanwhile, following the Washington football team that abandoned the Redskin name, the Cleveland baseball team says that it will be dropping its Indians name. They say it is racist and they want no part of it. Chief Wahoo has been MIA for some time. I'm looking at the Atlanta Braves and wondering what they will do. I'd say it's definitely goodbye to the tomahawk chop. I'm thinking about the pander man's comment on the shadow of Donald Trump. That's really about all that's left of him. So the trumpet becomes the shadow. Who knows what evil lurks in the hearts of men and women? The shadow knows. So evil? Just for openers, free health care for all illegal immigrants. Forgive all student debt. Allow Iran to go nuclear. The shadow knows.